From the Department of General German Weirdness, I note that a few weeks ago a politician tabled a question to the Bundestag, which is Germany's parliament. He asked if there were any plans in the case of first contact with an alien civilization. It was tabled by Dieter Janicek, a member of the opposition Green Party, and predictably the government's response was no, there are no such plans because the scientific consensus at the moment is that the chances of first contact are extremely slim and there's no reason that anybody can think of that the aliens would choose to reveal themselves on German soil. That's how the story appeared in the media, just a couple of column inches in the papers. An amusing anecdote. Politician with little better to do wastes government time with a stupid question. From some quarters, of course, there has been a slightly different reaction. If the aliens invade, Germany will be defenceless. How short-sighted of the government. My initial reaction to this was that the government's answer was the only sensible answer to this question. How can you prepare yourself against an enemy you know nothing about? especially one that you're pretty sure doesn't exist. And if any aliens did invade, their technology would have to be far in advance of our own. We would have to assume that any defences we have would be useless. Unless, of course, we simply played German Schlager music at them. I mean, a similar tactic worked against the aliens in Mars Attacks. So maybe the government should be funding the construction of massive loudspeakers. But I was intrigued as to why Janicek asked the question in the first place. Did he believe in aliens? Is he a conspiracy theorist? Or a nutcase? His Wikipedia entry didn't help me out much at all. There was nothing there to suggest that he was the type to spend his spare time fashioning tin foil hats. It was all pretty much run-of-the-mill Green Party stuff. About the most controversial thing was a proposal to change the rules for cyclists at traffic lights. So, on to his own website for the answer. And it turns out that the whole thing is a lot more boringly sensible than even I'd assumed. He says he wasn't talking about the possibility of aliens actually arriving on Earth, brandishing ray guns and saying things like, take me to your leader. That, he says, might make great science fiction, but has little to do with reality. Rather, he was much more interested in what the government would do if they received a signal from an alien civilization. Not an invasion, but evidence of alien life somewhere out there. He goes on to explain that scientists are of the opinion that there must be alien life somewhere, and we are deliberately looking for evidence of it. So the question naturally arises, if we find some, what happens then? And of course the government's answer was quite a bit longer than what was quoted in the papers. Yes, the government did say that they weren't expecting aliens to come to Germany. But more importantly, they said that if they did receive an alien signal, they would immediately inform the scientific community. Which, as Janicek says on his website, is good to know. It means that there are no plans to hush it up. At least, not officially. So, sadly, this isn't the story of a crackpot politician who thinks that Independence Day was a documentary and there isn't a funny angle on this. But if it helps, there was also the story that the children's book The Little Prince has been translated into Klingon. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.